Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all are having a blessed day. It is another hot day here in Little Rock, Arkansas. It started out nice and I had my door open for a while, but whew, I had to shut it, get me some AC going. But anyway, I decided to do me some cooking today. So what I got going here, about a pound of hamburger, some coarsely chopped sweet medallion onions, green peppers, about a tablespoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, about a teaspoon, and just a, a couple dashes of Italian seasoning. And I like to brown this up. I don't like to just sweat it. I like to brown it up to where there's caramelization now. To me, it just it tastes different. It changes the flavor. It gives it a better flavor, I think. And I haven't added any salt to this. Uh, avoiding 100% salt is impossible, really. Everything has salt in it. Right off the bind, things have salt in it. But they do add salt and water to your hamburger. So, what I'm going to do with that is I've done made me up some ziti. I got it drained in here in the sink. Now, you can use elbow macaroni for this recipe. But I do suggest that you use a heartier noodle. Uh that'll hold up over uh, you know, under being stirred. Uh, bow tie pasta would not be one you would want to go with or you know that it would be too too flimsy. So but so I chose ziti and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to blend it together with this cheddar double cheddar cheese sauce that I got. Mix some of this sharp cheddar in there. Put it all in this casserole dish. Put a little bit more cheese on top, and maybe sprinkle a little bit more Italian sa uh, seasoning on there for some color. And then pop it in there for about 10-15 mm, minutes at 350, just enough to let it blend and melt that cheese. And I'm looking forward to that. Now, it's like a, it's a mock, uh, I'm going to call it a burger helper. <laughs> uh, but this is better for you. Because when you buy that box stuff, you're getting dehydrated noodles, all right? And as it cooks, uh, a lot of starch and paste, is, you know, it's pasted, is released into your dish. Ooh, is released into your dish, and it just gives it a, a pasty flavor. And, of course, there's a whole lot more preservatives uh, in it and a whole lot more salt. Uh, now, salt is a flavor enhancer. Uh, years ago it was used mostly for preserving and uh, now it's a flavor enhancer um, I'm at the point where I could tell that if, if I do put salt on a dish I can taste the difference immediately but then I taste salt in a lot of things and things will taste extremely sh sweet to me too because I've cut both of those things down out of my diet and after a while, you don't miss it. Like I said, it, it seems to stick out like a sore thumb in, you know, in everything else. So there's a plenty of salt in, the, in that cheese and, and that sauce and stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I like to buy my jalapeno peppers in a can. They're not that expensive, and I believe you get more. But I, I transfer them to a jar. And uh, I love these uh, tomato sauce jars here. Uh, it actually says Atlas Mason right on it, and it has measurements on the side. And uh, you can't hardly get anything in glass anymore. And these things are wonderful. And I, I'm going to transfer these over to that jar. And I love the pickled carrots in here. And when that jar starts getting low, I'll pick me up some sliced carrots and pop them in there. Pickle them up. They get a little bit softer. But I, I use these jars for just about everything. Like parfaits, uh, you can make a salad in one of these jars and just put the lid on it. Uh, I had an outing with some friends and I made strawberry shortcake for all of us in these jars. And, uh, put them in a, a zipper bag and put them down in a cooler. And we had strawberry shortcake for, for dessert when we wanted it. Uh, but a salad could be made in there too. And uh, jello stuff. Uh, with fruit, jello and fruit, and uh, like I said, I'm going to 
You know, you can pickle stuff in there. I've been known to slice up cucumbers and put them in there uh, with uh, some herbs and spices and garlic and minced up uh, roasted red peppers and balsamic vinegar and some, you know, olive oil and make my own salad dressing. Um, so it's hard to get anything that isn't in plastic these days. So, I mean, if you can, keep them jars. I mean, they're, to me, they're indispensable. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing today, y'all. I hope you're having a good day, good productive day, and uh, staying cool in this heat. So if you can, if you will, if you want to, Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I like it when y'all stop in and say hello. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.